Time Bank believes in a banking future with more for every entrepreneur. Start paying less and getting more with Time Bank. You've got this. Welcome to Small Business Evolution. I am Nontobego Kumete. Effective financial management is an important component of running a successful business and it tends to involve saving on a regular, consistent basis. Now the question is, how can SMEs create smart saving solutions to ensure sustainability and longevity of their business? Joining me today is the Chief Strategy Officer at Time Bank, Greg Ilgner. And Greg Greg joins us today to share some insights on how South Africa's best saving rates can work for your business. Greg, thank you so much for uh, joining us. So Greg, a lot of entrepreneurs don't consider having an emergency fund for their business as important. It's almost as if it's more popular for a personal bank account or personal account. So why is it important for them to shift their perspective a bit and think about developing a smart saving strategy? I think I mean, uh, very much the same as, as, as sort of in your personal capacity, if you own a, a business, particularly a small business, rainy days come along. You know, so, so there are always bumps in, in, in the road. Um, and, and, and the better you are prepared for those bumps, the, 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 the more likely you are to navigate them sort of gently and easily. Um, and, and a savings plan, so some, some mechanism through which you're putting away money, you, you're earning interest on it, ideally interest that's bigger than the rates of inflation because otherwise actually your money's going backwards. Um, that, that should be part of your plan. Putting away money for, for, for investments, so, so longer term aspirations that the business may have, also important. So, so if, if you don't do that, you end up borrowing money, and, and we all know borrowing money, um, someone's making money by, by, by giving you that money. So, so the, the more you can fund your own business, the, 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 the better. We, we as Time Bank you know, have, have got two different products in that space. We've, we've got a goal save product, which is all about short-term um, investments and, and ready access. Um, <coughs> the maximum that we pay there is 11%. It's an it's incredibly good rate. We, we've yeah, also very recently, two yeah. months ago, introduced a fixed deposit product. So that's where you've got longer term aspirations. There's a three month, six month and 12 month version of the product. Um, and we pay nine, 10 and 11% interest on those, those products. So really good rates that they, 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 we think we've got sort of the basis covered in terms of, of customer needs with, with the two product constructs. Greg, let's just take it back a bit uh, and just unpack the rainy days mm -hmm. concept. Mm -hmm. I mean, we had a flood of a COVID-19 <laughs> pandemic that no one really planned for. And I guess that sort of like started making entrepreneurs really think about having to put together a plan. How can SMEs even start putting that saving strategy plan together? What's the process? I think so, so the first step, and, and this is exactly the same as, as, as my advice would be for, for an individual thinking about their personal sort of life is, is, and it sounds corny, put together a budget. So understand what you're spending your money on. That's, that's the first step. Um, and, and you'll be surprised by some of the stuff on that list. So, so, so some elements you, 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 know, you may be able to, to, to spend a little bit less money on, um, you know, the, the discretionary stuff. Um, and, and the only way you're going to discover that is if, if, if you sort of dig into the data. Um, wh once you understand your costs, you, you should start looking at where you can save money. And I'm going to shamelessly plug Time Bank again. One of the ways in which you can, you, you can save money is on banking fees. Um, and and you know, with, with Time Bank, essentially, even as a business, you can bank for free. Um, we, no, no monthly fee, no card fee, EFTs are free, blah, blah, blah. So, so lots and lots of ways in which you can save on, on, on costs. And financial services costs are, are, are one of the, 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 the line items that, that, that customers talk about. Um, well, once you understand your costs, you need the discipline to actually commit to saving. I think that's the strongest part right there, having the discipline. Yeah. yeah. Um, Greg, I, I don't know, I feel like we need to break some form of a, a taboo here because some may argue that, ah, oh, you know, my business hasn't scaled up that much. I would rather invest in insurance for those rainy days. So why should they still see that, you know what, I, I understand that you have money for this, but this is still as important as that. They are yeah. two completely different yeah. things. You still need both. I think that's right. So, so I think you do still need both. So insurance definitely has a place to, to, to play. Typically, it's, it's where 
where a, a, a shock is so big that you couldn't save for it. You know, so the loss of your car or a flood, you know, a, some infrequent large bump. The, the savings is, 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 is more around sort of, you're going to hit bumps you know, every month, some kind of a bump. And, and having your own nest egg to dig into to, 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 to fund you through that is, is, is the best way to deal with it. And, and just maybe by way of sort of illustrating this, and, you know, it's an exceptionally good time to save at the moment. And, and the reason for that is inflation's come down. So inflation's finally in the reserve bank sort of 3 to 6% range, the, the last number was 5.2%. Yes. And that means that a bank like Time Bank that's paying 11%, the difference between those two numbers mean you're earning a real rate of 6%. You know, your, your money's growing by 6%, which wasn't true uh, a year ago when inflation was through the roof. Um, so important to, to, to have the discipline to put away a little bit of money. The, 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 the positive of, of, of earning interest on your money as opposed to paying interest on a loan is, is that you're getting the benefit, right? As, as opposed to the person that, or the, the, the entity that's, that's giving you the money. Now, in, interest is an incredibly powerful thing when it's working for you. It's an incredibly sort of heavy load to bear when it's working against you. In terms of just the effects of the benefits, would it be different for a business that is 100% a digital, uh, uh, an e-commerce business compared to your more traditional forms um, of SMEs? I don't think so. So I think you know, th these benefits are accrued to any type of business. Um, you know, financial services products sort of sophistication tends to be higher with digital businesses. Um, but but the, the benefit of saving, the benefit of, of actually having a plan, you know, anticipating that things are going to go wrong or anticipating that there's some purchase that you need to make or some investment that you need to make. And, and the more that you can fund that yourself as opposed to lending from other people, you know, is, it, it's true of every business. Well, thank you very much for that, Greg. I think you really just opened up a bit on just the importance of having to save as much as we don't want to, but you have to and you need to. Absolutely. Thank you. That <laughs> was a Time Bank's Chief Strategy Officer, Greg Ilgner, offering insights into the importance of saving and how saving rates can work for your business. Time Bank believes in a banking future with more for every entrepreneur. Start paying less and getting more. With Time Bank, you've got this.